doing it because they they think that these tesla recharge stations are taking jobs away they're just being dickheads exactly joe so if you're gonna be a dickhead even though it really has nothing to do with you right imagine when you actually think your livelihood's being threatened right good point then you can see it getting revved up you know to like a much higher level yeah so so i'm running for president in large part because i think we need to get in front of this set of problems we have to say look if we're going to save $168 billion a year, maybe some of that should go to the truckers and give them a soft landing. Maybe we should have this universal basic income where everyone feels like they're getting 1000 bucks a month, which is not a work replacement. It's not going to make their lives easy. They still need to work. But at least it takes the edge off. It takes like the existential threat off. Um, and also their kids getting it. So they feel like, okay, my kid actually has some kind of path to the future. And it's not like if I lose this trucking job, not only am I going to, you know, struggle and suffer, but my kid will too. So uh, my plan as president is to install a trucker transition czar and say, look, it is your job to try and manage this transition for the three and a half million truckers. And Joe, we haven't even talked about the five million Americans who work at truck stops motels, diners, retail establishments, all the places where the truckers stop every day just to get out, eat a meal and, you know, like live a life. I mean, if you imagine those communities when the trucks don't stop, there's going to be a drying up of economic vitality on a level that's unprecedented in many of these communities. This is something that I, I'm just becoming aware of over the last year or two. Um, how, when, when you're out on the campaign trail and, you know, you're talking to media and you're discussing this with people, uh, how many people have no idea that this is coming? Well, what I say to people, Joe, is I say, Hey, have you noticed stores closing on your main street? And then they say, yes. And then I ask them, why is that? And then they reflect for a minute and then they say Amazon. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, Amazon's getting $20 billion of commerce every mm -hmm. year. And it's now tipping your malls and Main Street stores into oblivion. Yeah. And like, is that going to get better or worse? Because so, so some people say it's like, how the robots, like the robots are years away. And then you're like, no, it's not robots actually like walking around your neighborhood. I mean, of course, that's unlikely. But Amazon soaking up the business that used to go to your mall. If you go to their fulfillment center, it's robots as far as the eye can see. If you go to their... Uh, their warehouse, you know, it's also robots as far as, as far as the eye can see. So when you ask how aware are people that this is happening, it's one of those truths that as soon as you point it out, they're like, oh, yeah, like I, I, I knew that was what was up. It's just for whatever reason, I'm like the only person just laying out the facts and being like, guys, it's not your imagination. Like we actually are getting rid of the most common jobs in the U.S. economy, as you said, truck drivers, delivery drivers, Uber drivers. Uh, another one that's very clearly going to get taken up by AI is radiology and looking at tumors on a film. Because it turns out that AI can see shades of gray that a human eye cannot. Mm. All of these things are at record highs. It's like, oh, if I spend extra time commuting, maybe I can save a, a couple bucks. And so if I make you cash strapped and make it so you can't pay your bills, you're actually more likely to be like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like, yeah, like, blame them. So what what, you're, what we're talking about, again, it's not this speculative future. It's that we've been doing this for years, and it's actually pushing our population into a mindset of scarcity, of nastiness. And that's why universal basic income is so crucial, because it gets the boot off of people's throats, and it replaces the mindset of scarcity with a mindset of abundance and rationality and optimism and capacity. Well, the great thing is, again, this $1,000 is yours no matter what. 